So we're going. <laughs> this thing's happening. We got the motor going and the little boat going, a lot of fucking battery power going. And now we got a wave coming. And by a wave, I mean a wake from a big old boat. So here comes the real test, I guess. I gotta get in a fucking better position for this, physically. Oh man, I got a parched, parched throat, kind of freaked out. Trying to get to Dead Man's Island, gotta run full throttle. Holy fucking shit, man. <laughs> The pontoons are working. Oh, here comes the first wave. Test wave, test wave, test wave. We got a test wave at 45 degrees for what the fuck size is that port? Where my French, everybody, but I'm very excited. Let's fucking. This is straight on. Let's see what happens straight on. This is the worst case scenario. It's straight on. Oh, Jesus. The motor cut out. <laughs> Why did the motor cut out? Oh Jesus, the motor really cut out. <laughs> well, this wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, it's so fucking far back. I've got a paddle. What is going on there? Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna deal with this and I'll record some more. Okay, got the battery back on. Uh, I don't know what happened there. It shouldn't have tripped. We got enough juice and that's like seaweed got wrapped around the prop or something. Oh, now I'm all nervous. Got the motor working again. I don't know if it's extra drag. I think it might have been the extra drag because there's a cutoff when seaweed or too much resistance is applied to the motor. And we are dragging hardcore to those pontoon fins. So I might have to try another thing besides the pontoons. Uh oh, my bum's wet. We're leaking. Oh, we're not leaking enough to worry. The point is, we made it to Dead Man's Island. Well, I made it to Dead Man's Island. You can see this. We're not together here, but we're together here in spirit. Anyways, there's a beach. This is the Armdale Yacht Club. Right outside of. So I should make landfall. I shouldn't just come here and not land. That's silly. What's the fucking point then? I gotta do an inspection on the prop too. It's kind of grinding. Make sure everything's tip top. All right. No idea how deep it is here. Deep enough. Tide's going out quite rapidly. I feel like a pirate. <laughs> Got to get all of their treasures.
I'm satisfied. Coast Guard, they can save me. <laughs> Just a bit of water in there. I don't know if it's enough to worry about. Probably some came in when I got in. Not that much came in. I got time for a little cruise around the block. This is real nice. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty relaxed. Uh, let's see. I keep wanting to run her at full throttle, but I know it's not good for it with all this extra resistance. I had never thought about the resistance part before with the square shaped poles. Should have made around poles. I've got the equipment to do it though. And I might put a giant whale tail thing on. And I want to try it with the wheels. To see if they work as keels. That wasn't supposed to rhyme, it just did. But uh, anyways. It's working good. It's working real good. <laughs> These things kind of get jiggled loose. There's a lot of vibration going on here. So got to get like Ferrari levels vibration. My seat, handlebar thing. I have no idea what I'm shooting because I'm trying to keep the screen off just to save battery life. Get as much footage for the old YouTube as possible. A few clips for Instagram. This is the rich part of town, I'm assuming. They have docks. I don't have a dock, that would be amazing. Probably cost a lot. Oh, I should probably make sure my backpack isn't getting soaked. I completely forgot I brought music with me. I can be listening to music this whole time. The baler. I should really be tied to something. I guess I'm going to Jingle Tower for a little moment or two. I should land there too. I didn't land there last time I went there in a boat. Oh, here comes some waves. Woo! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay, so that part works. 
at least with those little waves. Mindful of that. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little bit more boat, but this is good. I mean, we're out on salt water. There are some big boats around, man. Uh, we're getting some nice little wakes coming in. I didn't sizzle really. At first it was crazy, but you know now it's, it's all good. These guys hanging out. Sailboat party. That's not port to port. <laughs> I'll cut that part out. <laughs> Here we have Magnificent Wilderness. Wilderness I can't normally access. I should, I should go over there sometime. Maybe today, maybe some other time. I already landed on that side. How many landings could I make today? I don't know. So, this is my third boat that I built. Second one I've actually got on the water. First one got abandoned on a mountaintop with a crazy old man. Hell of a day. Tell you what. And this is the second one to get the motor strapped on her too. She works just fine. I'm warble. Warble, warble, warble. No problem. Give these boats away. You have a friend or whoever, whoever lives nearby. That one's a boat. It's on the internet. It says hello. It says they want a boat. You want a boat? Let me know. Cool. I got a six foot boat. I'm talking nine foot boat. Nine foot boats in the other video. It's on my channel there. That's a boat video. And then, uh, yeah, you can have them for free. I'm just taking the transom mount though. Off the big boat, that's the only thing. I might take the lights, I'm not sure, but they're all right to replace, not hard. Don't worry. But if they are hard for you to replace, I'll leave them on. So, there you go. So then I can build another boat, though. A newer boat. I've got so many ideas. I need to build them. If I don't, I'll go crazy. Well, I won't go crazy, but I'll die full of regret. And that'll be awful after my experience. So, apparently there's a great white shark somewhere coming to the Halifax area, it said. I haven't seen it yet, but if I do, I'll try to film it before I run away. I should definitely save the full throttle circuit breaker temperature because it trips from the amount surging through it so after a certain amount of over resistance it'll trip from the poles in the water and a lack of hydrodynamics so I should save the turbo feature for a shark or a particular shark for the I don't know if there's any other sharks over right here I know we have other sharks I don't know if they're a concern oh Jesus why am I talking about this and I just thought uh, Probably wasn't the best thing to think about. Uh, where it came from is over there. That white building, just to the left where that sailboat raid is now. That's where I come from. That's where I land. Because that's where the wheels are. <laughs> I'm sure. Things will be fine. It's not like there's thousands of mackerel in here and seals and things that sharks eat all the time. It's just most of the time that they're in here, so it's not. I don't think I have to think about it too much. I don't really have to think about it. It's not really up to me <laughs> if the shark's here or not, I guess. <laughs> I should have a smoke.
boy, those land lovers are a noisy bunch. So I'm just filling empty space with no no sound or anything. It's just super good out here. I get this weird feeling lately. We're in amusement park world. Our whole country's society bleeds from America across the border into Canada and becomes amusement park world. Keep yourselves amused, everyone. While the CIA does things in the background. Etc. Well, this area is very amusement park like. With its like, giant houses and whatnot. Yeah, I'm putting on a fake accent. <laughs> I need to sound sophisticated. If I don't sound sophisticated, then no one's gonna buy my fucking art. You need to be sophisticated to be an artist. It's not an eagle. That's whatever kind it is. A falcon or an ostrich, whatever kind does that point forward. An osprey. So that, I don't know if the camera even saw that. This camera isn't good for faraway shots. It's good because it's waterproof and it gets a lot of image at once. Right here, there's a lot of image. Is that me? What is that sound? Oh, it's the train. Weed. Tighten the old motor back on. It's tied to the railing anyway, don't worry. Oh shit, it's the Coast Guard. I bet we're gonna get inspected. Okay, so we had a quick little, quick little chat. Everything's fine. They said this is awesome. So I've passed the Coast Guard's inspection. Gear. My extinguisher, if you take the battery, it explodes directly in front of my face. I can put the fire out. And I got my paddle, my life jacket. Fucking, fucking legal. Got my license. Fucking, I do got my license, don't I? Yeah, I got my license. Okay. <laughs> my fish just jumped in front of me. It was crazy. This whole new wall, that's crazy. Everything out here is crazy. This is the crazy world. This is the world of the unknown. I've been out here for days. I don't even recognize my own shadow. Everything is light. I cannot think anymore. I need water. But I cannot drink any of the water. There it is salt. She is. Dingle Tower! The place I can never get to ever, because I don't own a car. Because I own boats. I know, how does that work? It doesn't. So how am I down here? I don't know! It's the mysteries of life. This guy with his sail starting his motor. I guess there's no window. That flag says there is, but it's lying. Because I'm out here too and I don't feel anything. This guy is not going port to port. <laughs> They're all a balloon. Wake test, here we go.
don't do that. Oh, they do. They do. It just takes an awful lot more work to get them to do that. If, well, if you live in the country, it doesn't. You just drive super fast down any road. In the city, it's pretty hard to find roads that like do that, though. I mean. Dingle Tower, <laughs> the best named tower on the whole planet. It's glorious. God save the Queen. <laughs> Who the fuck's flag is that? Who's, who's yellow and blue? team is that? What do they, how do they get their flag on our tower? Okay, I don't know when my video cut out there. Oh, that's pretty. But at some point I ran out of video card space. So, I don't know. I'll update this now. The update is, I made it to Dingle. I'm gonna make landfall though. I gotta be careful because this camera isn't strapped to my hand. So, I don't know if I'll drop it or not. Looks like a nice clear beach, probably, probably clear of rocks. So we're gonna, because there's no point in coming all the way over here if you're not gonna make landfall. I felt disappointed last time I came over here on my other boat and I did not make landfall. So this time I'm gonna make fucking landfall. It goes. Okay, so I'm standing on the land. I made it. I made it to Dingle Park. <laughs> I'm playing trip, but I made it to Dingle Park. We got some water in the back, but it's okay. I got a bucket to get rid of it. Made it to the park. That's pretty good. What kind of animals live on this country? Jesus, it's got claws. Wherever it is in this wild land, it's hunting us right now, I bet. Yeah, we got to get out of here before it comes and gets us. Look at this place filled with beasts. Whoever lives in there, Lord Dingle from Guar. So some bros that were kind of drunk gave me a wake test. Here comes the real fucking wake test. Jesus fuck. Here we go, buds. Turn your nose into the storm. <laughs> here she comes. Here she fucking comes. Because the guys here. Fucking wake test. Hey. <laughs> Oh Jesus! It's a good test. It's a good test. It's a good test. That's how you do a fucking wake test.
This is nice. This is real nice. That's the ocean. I don't know if I'll go all the way there today. Although, we got a lot of sun left. I don't have any cigarettes, but... I don't like smoking dope out here too much. It's freaky, man. I mean, look. Water everywhere. I don't know what's down there. Anyways. Ocean. Right up there. Might take another half hour at this pace. I can't give full throttle too much because of the resistance. Uh, I tripped the switch. I don't know if I'll upload that video to Instagram, but this one will be. Oh. There is some nice houses out here, tell you what. Nice boats too, surprisingly. I mean, we're on the water. Who would have thunk it? I'm now this far away from Dingle. We're doing pretty good. Been hit by a few wakes here and there. Pretty smooth though. Everything works well. I'm wondering the trip. The circuit breaker got tripped at full throttle, and I don't know if it's from the boat having too much resistance from the square pontoon riggings, or if I put the nut on the motor too tight and it thinks it's got seaweed on it. I could probably check it somewhere, but I mean, it's working, so I shouldn't mess with it until I get back, really, when you think about it. Because it got me this far. So if I mess with it, it might not get me the rest of the way far. I might mess it up and then lose the nut and it's a long fucking paddle back, man. I just ditch the boat on one of these beaches and come back with the wheels. <laughs> okay, so I'm still at full battery. I haven't been using full throttle really though because of the circuit breaker issue. But that's Dingle Tower and I started a couple like a kilometer at least before that. I'm like, I've gone at least two kilometers. I think it's three or four to the entrance of the heart, or the northwest arm. That's what I'm on right now. A nice little tame bit of salt water. A beautiful place to go for a little cruise. Some nice houses. <laughs> I should try to sell them some air while I'm out here. There's no laws against it. You can't sell things in a cart or from the sidewalk or from a bike cart. No laws about selling things from a boat. Know what I mean? For anyone that knows the area, that building in the center behind the trees is the Dalhousie Observatory. See it? See the observatory? I think that's what it is. It looks like it. Anyways, so that's where I'm too. Just went behind that tree. So I started at the Jubilee boat launch. I went to Dead Man's Island. And I went to Dingle Tower. Now I made it to the Observation Observatory for observing the observable world around us. But not the water. Okay, so apparently I've been going for uh, at least an hour and 15 minutes since the last time I checked. And my boat is painted to be lowly visible like a military boat. I don't have lights on it, so before twilight hits, I'm heading back. I did not realize that much time had passed. I thought I'd been out here for like half an hour, 45 minutes maybe, and I'm pretty good at keeping track of time. So, dang old boat world, man. 
everything just vanishes. I might as well go to the other side. Skim along there, I guess. See what's going on over there. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice little trip out. I made it to the Dalhousie Observatory. Almost to the Yacht Club along the edge of the Northwest Arm. And big old houses. So, good trek. Couldn't use full throttle, but it was fine. Built a better design for that. Whole lot of fucking hell water. I got wakes on either side. Let's see how she goes. Got Metallica playing. Everything should be fine. Oh, he's got an ice wake going. Probably won't be anything by the time it gets to me though. There comes the first wake. Oh, it's tiny. This isn't even worth filming. Doop doo doop doo doo. Mine's an easy line. That's a beautiful wake coming in. Look at that. Nice. It's gonna be gorgeous. Here we go. Wahoo! <laughs> that was great. Jesus. Boat handles well. So I guess the thing is, you either need to make your boat. Oh, <gasps> is that a seal? That's a seal. I don't know if the camera can see it. It's right below the building on the left. Its head's just peeking out of the water. The sun is just shining off it. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, we might see a seal. It's a real nice boat over there. And there's a seal somewhere. Somewhere around here. I just see him poke up again. I'm gonna try to get a picture or a video of him. Real nice out here with the seals and the seagulls. I saw the seal some more, but I did not get video of him. Which is saddening. Mostly because a power boat came through and did not follow the port to port rule. It's sad. The rules are simple to follow. And if we don't follow the rules, Society will break down into chaos, anarchy, and other things that are bad sounding that most people don't understand the definitions of. So, with that said, we must follow the rules. Speaking of rules, here comes a jet ski. That house is $10 million. I saw it on a real estate listing. Ten. It's a seal. Hanging out with me. He followed me all the way from the other end of the arm. <laughs> this is the first time I got a shot of him though. A good shot. I wonder how close we can get. Oh, it's like a giant dog of the ocean. I know it just looks like a thing in the water, but he just yawned a second ago. I know it's a seal. It moves. No, go away, motorboat guy. You scare the seal. Hi, seal. This is fantastic. This is hanging out. Chilling. I hope there's no great whites around. There's one that's spotted near the harbor. He's probably as big as the boat. Hey, buddy! Jesus! He looked right at me. Did I film that? Oh, I've wanted to see this boat up close for ages. She's beautiful. Get another shot on the sunny side. That boat's called Freya. 
We're out here on Friday. It's a good sign. I'll probably make it home alive. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't have a fucking heart attack on the way back. Ah, oh, this guy's gonna interrupt our circle shot. This guy. There we go, circle shot. I love this ship. He is gorgeous. Time to go back to land. I love this boat. This is the best ship out here. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> Uh, I hope I have a ship as awesome as this someday. This just showed up in the arm. I have to say, I want to go over and look closer. Oh, there's a party boat. Jesus, I don't want to get anywhere near that. It's full of drunk people. 